Hello and thank you for joining me as I continue my quest to complete GTA 5 without killing anyone. We move on now to the infamously difficult Mission Hang 10. Trevor finally gets to meet Deborah, who is clearly not very happy, and Floyd also becomes a bit upset. While Trevor tries to get them to calm down, the lights go out and Deborah and Floyd end up dead for some reason. Wade arrives and to make sure he doesn't come to the wrong conclusions, Trevor leads him away to the strip club. That surprisingly ends the mission, and as I didn't personally kill anyone, we have ourselves another perfectly pacifist mission. Although I will say that red guy is looking a bit sus. So how'd you come by this place anyway? I've had it for ages. So you must know Leon, the old manager. Leon? I didn't know. Yeah, whatever, man. So what's going on here? What's going on is the big one. A long, long time ago, in a faraway place, there were three guys. Michael, Trevor, and Lester. And Brad. Who the fuck is Brad? Trevor, Michael, and Lester have long dreamed about robbing the Union Depository, and here on Surveying the Score, we begin to make that dream a reality by doing some sightseeing in order to develop a plan. Let's go. Big one. Thank you for joining me today at Dark Viper Tours. We begin first with the front of the Union Depository. Next up is the back of the Union Depository. On your left are the security vans on Rouse, and here is a big ass hole. I thank you for flying with me today next to the Union Depository in this helicopter with Trevor Phillip Industries on the side. I appreciate you wanting to see these locations physically at one particular time of day rather than securely getting all this information and more on the internet. If any of you had any sense, I wouldn't have a job. This ends our pacifist tour of surveying the score. Be sure to like and subscribe. This is not a game to me! All right, this is a fucking way of life. No one gives a fuck about me. We turn now to the mission Bury the Hatchet, where Trevor has finally managed to connect all the dots. Up in North Yankton, who was buried in your place? Man, I was doing a task. You treacherous piece of shit. Not convinced by Michael's lies, Trevor rushes off to North Yankton to look for a body, and Michael chases after. Why did I move here? I guess it was the weather. Oh, as if I didn't know. Brad! I didn't want it to come to this. Yes, you did! Now pull the fucking trigger! I know what I have to do, but I don't know if I have the strength to do it. Who is that? Fuck! Ah! Fuck! Trevor Phillips! Wait, so how does Trevor leave through that gate, but I can't leave through that gate? Where are you? Does he lock the gate or something? Like, how does that make sense? There's not even a lock on it. What? Dozens of triads stood between me and my vehicle, but I had only one direction to go. Shotguns apparently hurt, so I decided to attract all the enemies to the left of the church and then run around to the right. In health. Me and Trevor, we ain't friends no more. Holy shit, what a god. What a fucking god. And you guys doubted me. And you doubted me. Ho ho. Unfortunately, Michael's escape is foiled because he is unable to start his rental Chevy. Just another broke down Chevy. Nothing to see here, folks. Fuck! Who put you up to this? Trevor?
Just one look at Michael's beard convinces the triads that Michael is Trevor's boyfriend, and so they kidnap him as leverage against Trevor. On the mission Pac-Man, Trevor meets up with Franklin and Lamar to deliver the cars they have stolen previously to Devon Weston. Let's go. Franklin's asleep. It's just me and you. What? What you trying to say? You want me to jack you off or something? Jesus, no. God, no. Of course not. Unless... Sadly, the police ambush halfway to the drop-off point. One police car spawns, followed by six more, one at a time, and I cannot complete the mission while they're around. I first decided to test if the spikes from my vehicle actually kill the police or merely disable their vehicle. Hit the spikes. Oops. Ah, uh, yeah, they're definitely dead. I knew from prior experience that I could put my car in front of the truck, which would cause it to stop. This would in turn stop the police who were following it, meaning they would get out of their car in order to pull Trevor and Lamar out of the truck. This meant my allies would attack the cops, whereas they wouldn't normally do so. Okay, so realistically, I should be able to stop here and then just leave. They're pulling out Lamar. Well, Lamar's pretty useless, but he might better help. Okay, well, he, he died immediately. That is, uh, not good. Trevor survived a little bit longer, so what I'll do is I'll block Lamar's door with the police car. Don't hurt me. There we go. Trevor just wrecked him. Absolutely destroyed. Are you for- what do you mean? What do you even mean? That's not fair. Um, once he gets pulled out, I need to block his door with a car. Get him, Trevor. Trevor? Trevor? Michael. Trevor? Oh! You cheating scumbag! Kick your ass off for of being a fraudulent imposter, motherfucker! As my allies seemed like a dead end, I decided to try and despawn the enemies by outdistancing them. I hoped they wouldn't simply rubber bands, teleport, or respawn after me. I was also limited in how far I could go, as I would lose my allies and mission fail. That guy isn't moving, but it should still be okay. Now we drive. Okay, so let's see if we outdistance distance them now. Or if they'll just warp after us. Okay, look like one despawned. Two despawned. Okay, this, this is this perfect plan. As I was seemingly successful with the first car, all I had to do then was do the same thing for the next six cars. Yeah, it looks like they've, they've gotten out. Okay, let me drive. Oh, yep. Okay, well, one spawned in upside down, which probably helps me a little bit. I'm pretty sure these aren't the same vehicles, so it's counting as them despawning. Running out of road, though. Okay, one despawned. This could be the last car. Nice! Wow! I did not think we would do this, Pacifist. That was fantastic. We're coming up to GO8. Man, the cops was all over us. They slowed us down <laughs> soon. That's not surprising. The insurance companies have been pressurizing them to find you since the studio uh, went in. You knew there'd be heat? Man, you could have told us. Duh. Whatever. Yeah, they're definitely dead. One more time. Okay, beautiful. Hello, Franklin. Where's my money, bitch? You get nothing. You lose. Good day, sir. Let's go. 
And so that ends the episode. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe if you made it this far. It was a short episode, but we managed to get through four missions without a single additional kill, which is certainly a plus. Things get a bit more chaotic for many of the upcoming missions, and I hope I can work on showing them to you soon.